Good evening everyone. Today we have a unit here that won't shift. Got towed in. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Show you what it's doing. So I go to shift it. It wants a six. You get shifted that time. And now it's shifting. It wasn't shifting before. It would only go into reverse and then I'd have to, I backed it in the spade. So it must be failing when it's hot. Cause I went on a little boot and said while it was shifting before. As it figures, I can't get this thing to act up um, as it sits here. So I'm not going to go on a road test because bringing it in, it failed and I had to back it into the shop here. So uh, I just hooked up to the PCM. Got a couple codes here. They're inactive. But I'm going to go through these because I'm going to say that it's a intermittent, uh, probably wiring issue or could even be a bad solenoid. As we can see, we have uh, shift solenoid faults, as well as main pressure modulation solenoid system performance. So if you have any solenoid faults, whether it's pressure control solenoids, shift solenoids, you're going to most likely get this code as well. So I'm going to disregard this code, and I'm going to go after these ones. Now it says shift solenoid 1, control circuit open or low. So it's looking like we probably have corrosion in the circuit somewhere. In the main harness or possibly internal of the transmission could be a you know connector that's worn out or maybe unplugged somewhere uh the, you know backing off from the solenoid inside the transmission so yeah i'm going to pull up the wiring diagram and test that solenoid right at the tcm so i'll get that okay you got the wiring diagram here so you can see our shift solenoid one this is inside the transmission this is the tcm so I'm going to locate the TCM, which on these I believe is on the right side uh, behind the kick panel. I'm going to test my resistance from pin 71 to 51 and see what the resistance should be at the shift solenoid and compare it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a wiggle test and see if I can get any fluctuations in the harness while I'm shaking the chassis harness to check for our issues with that. So, go over here. I believe the TCMs are located back in here. This is an international HX. Uh, let's pull this out. There'll be our fuses and stuff. And I just gotta pull this panel off, pull the screws out and everything to get their TCM. All right, so I have this paneling all disconnected, removed. And there's a TCM connector. The TCM is mounted to this plate through these bolts here so in order to get the TCM I'm gonna have to remove this plate which I hope I don't have to because I'm gonna have to take this panel off and all that stuff I'm gonna try to unscrew that bolt to pull this connector out hopefully I can get it out far enough that uh, that shoulder that's on this connector clears this ledge right there so I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove that the TCM connector without removing this plate well, I had to pull this plate off because this shoulder was hitting this lip, which is just a great design by International. So, all right, I'm gonna remove the TCM so I could pull the connector off. Connector's off. I just got a test for resistance between pin 71 and 51. And Allison wiring diagrams are probably one of the best because you're giving an internal look at the TCM as well as the transmission and yeah they're just very straightforward I love Allison wiring and then you also got the connector pinouts as well which is super handy so yeah I got my meter hooked up already to pin 71 and 51 to measure the resistance of our shift solenoid one through the high side driver circuit and I'm getting 4.7 ohms so that's kind of roughly right where it should be uh, it's based off temperature 
and yeah we're looking at it may, maybe it's, it's about an ohm above spec which isn't bad I'm gonna go ahead and give all this these harnesses a shake inside go on the outside of the truck underneath on top of the transmission kind of moving the harnesses while having someone monitor the meter here to see if it moves a lot and uh, that way there I'll be able to find an issue if there is corrosion or an open circuit and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my meter hooked up to one of these pins and also to ground that way there I'll be testing for a short to ground because we got a circuit issue which is intermittent and if all that's good and I you know test the best I could the whole harness inside and out for short to ground as well as resistance for the solenoid if all that tests good then I'm gonna call a internal harness as well as the shift solenoid one inside the transmission because I would assume it's an intermittent issue with the solenoid but if you're doing a solenoid if you're already pulling everything apart you might as well do the internal harness too so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find any issue with this TCM harness going to the transmission and so I routed my meter down to the bottom of the truck here as you can see it's showing 20 ohms I just have a lead going from the TCM wrapping all the way around the truck and under here because I was testing the wiring at the firewall and the engine and along the chassis now it's being 20 ohms because I found an area where the problem could exist which is right up here now you'll notice I'm going to be wiggling the section of harness right up here and you'll see the meter bouncing all around so it is 100% a wiring issue whether it's in this connector as I move this connector we're getting some movement but it seems really sensitive when I move up here so I'm thinking maybe up there and that bundle of wiring or something but definitely a wire is rubbed through and corroded and this is causing the transmission not to shift and to act all goofy so this is probably the most important reason on why you don't want to be lazy in your diagnostics because that solenoid is reading in spec and I could have just called an internal harness and a shift solenoid inside the transmission and then that wouldn't have fixed the problem or it might have fixed it for a bit but then obviously being a wiring issue it would have messed up again so yeah this is why you have to be thorough with your diagnostics check the wiring because it's definitely in the wiring so i'm going to go ahead pull this apart uh, there's some zip ties and stuff up there it could be where the issue is too i'm going to pull that apart that harness pull the loom off and i'll show you what i find but yeah the issue is definitely in the harness right in this area Thankfully. Oh, now we're getting in spec again. Let me move this wiring around. Oh, there we go. Open circuit. So yeah, good. Cool. Well, here's what I found. I cut the zip tie. As you can see, we have wiring rubbed through the loom. And of course, my meter is going crazy right now. And that right there is a problem right through the data link right through obviously the circuit for that shift solenoid one and yeah that's uh that's the problem right there boy this unit was not shifting so yeah hopefully this helps someone else having the same issue kind of directing on how to test the circuit <clears throat> but let's say i would have wiggled all the harnesses i would have inspected it all wouldn't have found any issues then what I would suggest and what I would assume is that the solenoid inside the transmission is failing intermittently and that would entail removing the, the valve body or the pan which doubles as a valve body in this transmission and then uh, I would replace that shift solenoid and also the internal harness but that's after thoroughly checking out the wiring but yeah this one you're able to find the problem so all right thank you guys they say loom is your friend <laughs> 